تعانق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة تسري فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحوم كالطير تحلق في الثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters Welcome to Reality 8 On this part we're going to show can male and females just be friends Can they Musa? Yeah I don't think so So we're going to see Obviously it, I'm joking yeah, guys before you start you know so, yeah. crazy. So, so the reality as you know is um, sponsored by Pure Matrimony The most halal website that's been um, you know spoken by many chefs and scholars out there who recommend it So inshallah do check it out It's the most halal way to find a partner Check the links below uh, so let's go straight into it and see what the females have to say. We'll be right back. Do you believe male and females can only be friends? Yes, of course. Okay. Have you ever had male friends? Yes. Has any of them been attracted to you and wanted to be more than friends? Some, but not all. Um, do you think male and females can only be friends? Nothing more. I don't think so. Why? Um, I don't know. I think it's an experience okay. and I met a lot of boys and I wanted to be friends but I it just can't okay, okay. yes of course uh, yeah okay. did, you, did you ever have a friend that it was just friend but he liked you yes it happened okay That's but, the problem. Okay, but does that mean they can still be friends um, it's difficult because if there is one person that liked the other yeah. one it yeah. can be confusing after can they just be friends nothing more have you had, ever had an experience where you saw a guy as a friend, but he wanted to be more than friends? Yeah, I have. So if you've been through that, doesn't that show like they can't really be friends? Okay. Uh, do you believe male and females can only be friends? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I yes. do. Yeah. Uh, okay. Why? Because if a girl and a girl can be friends, why can't a guy and a girl? Do you believe male and females can only be friends? Nothing more? No, they can't. Why not? Because once they start hanging out, they create a bond. Can male and females be just be friends? Yeah. Uh, do you think male and females can only be friends? Only be friends? Well, they, they can be, yeah, yeah. Just, just friends? Yeah, just friends. Yeah, yeah that's possible. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've got loads of male friends. If there's no attraction there, then there's nothing. What if they get attracted? Yeah, I can. Yeah. yeah. Wait, of course. What about you? Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, you can be friends. Yeah. yeah. So, Musa, tell me what you think about what just happened. Like, we saw what the females are saying. They're just clearly saying, you know what? Even though some said, no, they can't be friends, but most of them were like, yeah, there's nothing wrong. They can be friends. I think we should see what the men say. Yeah, because I think that's a good idea. Let's go see what the males say. Because no. the females think, they say, well, maybe we got it wrong. Let's see what the males have got to say. Do you think male and females can only be friends? Nothing more? No. Okay. No. Naturally, it's, 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 not, it's not, not possible. No. They can't? No. No. I believe there's always... Was that, was, that, was that a no? Sorry. It was a no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I carry on? There's always inside, there's always feelings there yeah. that will make it more than friendship. Okay. So have you ever gone through that experience? No. You haven't. Are you sure? No. I'm joking, I have, yeah. Okay. Okay, if that's the case then, how could male and females just be friends? Because you've got friends, but you're saying, uh, if I had the chance, I'll go out with them. Well, for me, I've got self-control still, yeah. so for me, you know... But you do feel attracted to some of them? Yeah, but um, I just, if she's my friend, she's my friend, you know what I mean? Okay, have you ever had a feeling towards a friend that's just female, but that, like, has feelings of good? Friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> friend zone. Yeah, or, or like... Yeah, did you ever have that feeling towards a friend? Like, There's you no person who can tell you they've never been in a situation like that before. Because then obviously at that point, yeah. you realise it's a lost cause. Yeah? So... Okay, if she... Alright, alright. She saw you just as a friend, yeah? Yeah. But obviously, you... Have, there's been, has there been moments where you said, okay, if I had the chance, I would go out with her. Definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh. With guys, yeah? it, happens. it happens. You think yeah? about it. If you had the chance, would you go out? Definitely, yes, I would do it. She's awesome. Okay. Why wouldn't I do it? Let's go. Okay, dude, you don't record it, right? I can see how you can get them a feeling. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Here's the condition. Yeah. If the girl is not Bro, hard. Bro, you're yes. drunk. Let's go. If she's not hard, yes. If she's hard, definitely. They will. It's not going to happen. 
Okay, uh, do you believe male and females can only be friends? Yeah. Have you ever had female friends? Of course. Okay. Have you ever been attracted to them? Of course, yeah. Okay, so does that mean can they be friends though? Because you're saying you had female friends, but you was attracted to them. Uh, do you believe uh, male and females can only be friends? Can only be friends. Just friends. Just Nothing more. They can be friends. Yeah, yeah, of course they can. So, have you ever had female friends? Yeah. Have you ever been attracted to them? Yeah. So, can they only be friends? <laughs> um, do you believe male and females can only be friends? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> okay, have you ever had female friends? Yes. Have you ever been attracted to them? Of course. Okay, so they are, can they still be friends? Can male and female just be friends? Yes, definitely. Okay, have you ever had a female friend that you was attracted to? Yes. Oh, does that mean can they be friends? Now, brothers and sisters, we'll see what the females had to say. Now, the males, it clearly contradicts what the females are saying. Completely, completely. So they're like, you know what? No, it won't be. Even that guy, remember that guy um, uh, with that girl? Yeah. Where he's like, if you, I said to him, if you had the chance, would you go out with him? He's like, hell yeah, of course I'll go out with him. So, you know what? This shows, yeah. this shows that there's a conflict of interest here. Exactly. And that's why that girl walked off. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe what he said. I think we should go into the scientific studies. Let's check out the see. studies and see what the studies say, say inshallah. Men and women can just be friends, assuming that they're both heterosexual in this case, appears to be not true. This is fascinating. They did a, a, a study where they brought in 88 pairs of undergraduate opposite sex friends into a science lab and they followed standard protocol as far as anonymity, confidentiality, etc. but also got people to agree verbally and in front of each other that they weren't going to discuss the study, they weren't going to talk about what they said to the researchers amongst themselves after leaving the testing facility. What they tested was presumably you were just friends and they separated the, the, op, the, men and the, the man and the woman they said, okay, tell me, do you have any, how attractive do you find your friend to be? How attractive do you think your friend finds you to be? How interested in pursuing a relationship with your friend are you? Okay. What do you think they found? You, you tell me. Okay. The results show that there is a huge gender difference. The women did not find, on the whole, the men to be particularly attractive and had absolutely no inkling that they would ever have a romantic relationship with the men. However, the men, number one, found the women attractive. Number two, had a much higher estimation of how attractive the women found them to be and also indicated, yeah, I, I would actually be into having a romantic relationship uh, wow. with this woman. So the results really seem to indicate that men have the harder time being just friends, whereas for women, it really appears to be much more straightforward to be just friends. So Musa, can you just quickly like, summarize, summarize it for us mm -hmm. from an Islamic perspective? Because yeah. obviously we've seen the studies, yeah. what the people think, obviously what does the Quran and Sunnah say about this matter? Of course. So, obviously living in our normal day-to-day -day lives, if we think about it from a woman's perspective, yeah. and even from a man's perspective, <coughs> yeah. You know, without adding any sense of manliness to it, let's say I'm just a normal person, yeah. I've got no sort of inclination, I'm just a normal guy who's living my life. I would think, why can't I be friends with a female? I mean, what's wrong with it? Exactly. You know? Yeah. Like, what's the issue here? And this is exactly the, ki the kind of mindset the females have on this. Yeah. What's wrong with it? Where's the harm? Mm -hmm. There's no issue. Because they have no sense of inclination towards the man like that. If they see him yeah. as a friend, He's a friend and that's it. Yeah. That's why we have this whole time of being friends on. Yeah. It's when a female doesn't want to be more than just a friend. Mm. So she just wants to stay with you. You know, you stay there. Sorry, sorry, that's true. It's like saying friend zone. Because when we think about friend zone, yeah. we never think a girl ends up in the friend zone. We always have this perception of it's always a man. Guy. Yeah. Go ahead, and yeah. this, the reason for that is because mm. the woman always has this perception. Mm. But the guy, you see, the guy has agendas mm. a lot of the time. So, I mean, if you were to ask, any of the people that you're friends with, if you're a girl, obviously don't literally do it because it could cause fitna. <laughs> but if you, go up to him and be like, yeah. if, you, if you go up to him and be like, yo, you know, would you ever go out with me? You'd probably say, yeah. Hmm. That's probably the main reason why he's following you around. The reason why he asks you the questions yeah. out of all of the people in the world he could ask. Exactly. The reason why he approaches you is because he has this sense of attraction in him. And in no way am I saying, oh, all, men's are, all men are pervs, all of your mates are pervs. All of your mates have these agendas in their heads that they just want to get you, you know, into their room and into, you know, their bed or something like that. Yeah. No, it's nothing like that. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically mentions that the plot of shaitan is da'if. 
Mm-hmm. But for the man, the plot of the woman is azim. Mm-hmm. It's strong. Now, I'm not comparing the shaitan to a woman, of course. No, of course not. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some of our greatest examples uh, are women. You know, mm-hmm. Maryam alayhi salam, Asiya salamun alayha. So we have these examples of women. But the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this in the Quran yeah. is because of the kind of effect women have on us. Mm, okay. It's the kind of effect. So the way we are created. It's the way that we are created. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says one of the biggest fitness for exactly. men is women. Yes. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the same sallam. thing. Exactly. Yeah. And now, how does Islam approach this? Mm. It's very, very interesting. You see, we can get attracted to a friend, yeah. to a female friend, let's say. We can yeah. get attracted to her mm. and we want to make it more. Yeah. But... Islam completely stops it from going anywhere near there. By what? By having this sense of brotherhood and sisterhood in Islam. Mm. You see, what we are being told basically is that, look, you would never think about your sister in the way that you're thinking about this next girl. You would never eye up your sister Mm. in the way you're eyeing up this next girl. You would never go up to your sister and try and, you know... You know, get on her good side Mm. The way that you're trying to do it to this girl Mm. So treat her like your sister Mm. This is why in Islam Any other Muslim female is our sister And we Mm. should treat her as our sister If she needs Mm. any sort of help We should help her in accordance to Islam of course And this is the kind of mindset that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to put in us Mm. You see with all of this fitna going on, we need, it's so important that we have this mindset mm. that we look at other females as our sisters, even in humanity, our sisters. Yeah. And you know what kind of fitna this stops, bro? Yeah. You won't eye up another female. Mm. You won't. Men won't go around doing bad things like watching porn. Mm. Because would you ever watch a video, of, for example, you, come on, yeah, your exactly, sister? Exactly. You get me? No way. So yeah. if you have this mindset, it stops you from going. Anywhere near zina, anywhere near yeah. free mixing, exactly. anywhere, it's, 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 you know? It's, it's very valid point because you're like, obviously you look at, uh, like your sister, Allah SWT says in the Quran that you should not even go near zina. So yeah. when we say, oh, they're just friends, yes. you're opening that door because Allah SWT says don't so, even go there, but you're just saying, oh, he's just my friend. And you know what the proof yeah. is that you're opening that door? Yeah. What is he thinking? Exactly. And that's where, uh, this is, this is there's a project I really want to work on uh, regarding reality shows and I want you to be involved as well. Inshallah. It's basically... About when we hear about sisters um, when they start practicing or whatever, they have these guys who spread rumors about them. Yeah. Why? Because they try to be go out with them. As you can see, the guy said, "Look, um, <laughs> sorry, okay." So, so as you know, the guys go around and spread rumors and say, "You know what? I did this with her and that with her." Why does that occur? Because when a guy ends up in a friend zone, some of them take it lightly and say, "You know what? It's okay." Yeah. But what do some of them do? They say, "Nah." You know, okay, it hurts you, them. You, you want to so, be like that? Yeah, okay. you want to be like that? So what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to go around and say, you know what? I did this to Sarah, or I did this to Layla, or I did this to whatever her name is. You get what I'm trying to say? So they go around and start spreading rumours. And these rumours can carry on. And I think this is how certain men are, you know? Unfortunately, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we just kind of heard about these kind of stuff. So that's why you get these um, brothers who go out there and basically say, you know what? I've, I've done this with her, I've done that with her. Because why? Because he's so affected by him being in fr- uh, friend zone. So that's why we need to understand that look, when Allah SWT, we, we go by the Qur'an Sunnah. We've seen what the people's opinions are. We've seen how certain sisters are like, yeah, they can be friends, but brothers, some guys are saying, you know what, no, they can't be friends. Scientific studies show that they can't, you know, it, it doesn't happen. Now, when it comes to the Qur'an and Sunnah, that's what we rely upon because science changes, people's opinions change, but the Qur'an and Sunnah does not change. So that's why we need to understand, brothers and sisters, that look, don't go there. You might, you might just say, you know what, he's just a friend. But believe me, when you're alone, you don't know what's going through his head. So what we're just trying to say is, look, don't even go there, you know? Because you might think he's just a friend, he, he, he doesn't see you like that. But, he doesn't but he's it. plotting and planning in his exactly. head. Exactly, it's like, it's like that. Most, most guys, like back in the days, like, oh, oh no, guys, they will approach a certain girl and be like, look, can I have your number? No, 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 I've got a boyfriend. You know what he'll say? Oh, we can just be friends. Because he knows once he gets there, he can work his way up. How? <laughs> By building trust. It's true though, isn't it? You know, you know what I'm trying to say? So that's why we need to be careful. Yeah. Because like, is there anything else that you want to add on? I mean, that's pretty much it, you know. Yeah. Specifically for the sisters, this should be a sign for you to be careful. Yeah. You know, a lot of sisters have this mindset where, oh, for example, they might see what we're saying as extreme. Like, what are you saying? Like, what the yeah. hell? Like, can't even be friends. What, what? we can't even be friends? Yeah. You have to understand something. You're a female. You'll never be a male. Yeah. 
you'll never have this sort of feelings that we have. <coughs> and if we're telling you straight that it will be difficult yeah. for you to be a friend with a guy who's actually attracted to you, yeah. that's it. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. So what you said was right. Now, what, what, what makes it, what is really sad is this, yeah? Is if we came just with the Quran and Sunnah, yeah? A lot of brothers and sisters and certain people out there who not, don't know about Islam, like what the hell, all these kind of stuff. But when we come with the male perspective, the female perspective, and what the scientific studies show, you know, we live in an age of science, everyone would have t- took it and be like, yeah, that's right, this is what science shows. But if we came with the Quran and Sunnah, you'd be like, it's extreme. So do you see that it's, it's, it's really sad? You need to understand that when Allah SWT orders something for you, He orders for the best, you know? So that's what we need to understand, the importance of that. Brother Faisal, mashallah, as you can see, his hand just took all my arm out. Aki, do you think male and females can just be friends? Nothing more. No, never. They can't be in it. Tell them, please tell them, because we've showed them the male perspective, the female perspective, the studies, the yeah. Quran and Sunnah, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're still not listening, Aki. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulullah, amma ba'd. I'm talking from 30 years of experience, I'm a little bit older than you lot. Yep. Um, it doesn't re- really work. I mean, if you think back to school, you know, year 11, 12 yeah. onwards, sixth form, college, university, the way things happen yeah. between the opposite sexes, exactly. it's never just about friendship. Never. Mm-hmm. Unless the guy's gay or there's some problem. <laughs> exactly. You know. that's, that's what the studies show is worth. Studies mm. say, look, it, they can't. You know, some people say, you know what, Quran is in, uh, but look, there's studies yeah, that show course, that it, it can't happen. I mean, obviously, the best guidance is the guidance of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The you know the, the Quran yeah. that he revealed, Allah subhanahu wa taala revealed to us. Exactly. If we stick to that, we will find that men and women shouldn't really be friends. Allah has given us the solution. You know, the Prophet sallallahu said we should marry young. Yeah. Parents should advise their yeah. children and try and allow their children to marry as young as possible, and make it easy for them, and, make it easy for them and not be obstacles and barriers in their yeah. path yeah. to lead them to sin. Yeah. You know, they should try and. Uh, and I'm speaking as a father as yeah. well. You know what? It's good because look, like I said, like 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 we don't want a sermon, bro. No, no, no. no. <laughs> like I said, look, I look, phone call no well. problem. Take a call. We show we showed you this female's perspective, male's perspective, the studies, Quran and Sunnah, and we've got an experienced person who is married and he's telling you what else do you need? Look, Where? that's it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Now, as you know. Okay. Unity Sunshine I like leather And today as you can see I'm dressed as uh, The couch <laughs> Okay guys Now we've seen what the females have got to say We've seen <laughs> So Eman do you think Oh damn he's having a fit <laughs> Imran, do you think male and females can just be friends? Why not? <laughs> can they be friends or not? I'll give you a quick perspective. Of course not, Akhi. Of course not. That's like saying... It's going to be in the vlog. That's like saying, can a crackhead be friends with a crack dealer? Oh, they can't be. Oh, sorry, let's start. That's because men be women or something. <laughs> <laughs>